Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a good one. And let's hope 2023 brings you all your wishes and all your dreams come true. So, what have we got here? We've got a... Uh, oh, can't see it. Oh, there it is. Rail top model. This is, I think, part of ACME. I'm not sure if they're part of the same company or if they've been brought out or... <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's a railroad version because I'll show you the details. I'm really impressed with this. There were three of them, class 482. And this is why I wanted that Voif Maxima to go with this. And we'll go through the details in a second because there's a reason why I've left it open. <laughs> well, obviously there is because I wanted to fit a decoder. I'm having a little bit of... <clears throat> <laughs> always a cough um i'm having a little bit of problems getting the light functions to work so i was just checking if there's any switches that decoder isn't the best decoder it's only i think a four function but it should run the lights so i'm just having a look if there's because sometimes there is a little switch that you have to knock over to get the lights working i'm gonna check underneath just have a look and see if uh, no, it's not it's not focusing. But there's a lot of wires, a lot of wires in in here. It's, it looks slightly messy compared to other makes. But I'm not bothered about the internals because one, I've got no idea how they work because I am a technical dummy. I've got no problem admitting that. I enjoy the scenery more. Then, you know, as soon as it's it's got a problem, then I, I need to send it away. I don't I don't really sort of mess too much. I can fit the decoder, and that's about as far as I can go. So let's get the lid back on. And let's have a look at the model properly. So as I said, it's a rail top model. It's let me just show you there. As new condition, pre-owned, tested okay. So. I have actually run it. I'm really impressed. I'm <laughs> really, really, really impressed. And I'll show you why in a minute. I, I need to, like I said, have a look and see if I can um, see if there's a switch to get the lights working because they're not working, which slight sort of let down on the model. But I think that's more either the decoder or, like I said, I'm not, I'm missing where. A switch where to sort of turn them on and off and just the uh, most companies actually make this class four four eight two there's actually one in the shop at the moment a pico one at 60 quid i might wait for a sale to come on which will knock it down to about 46 47 pound this was a little bit more than that. Like I say, um, ACME, ACME, um, they do, you know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of their locos, but I've never actually owned one. And this is my first rail top model. Uh, like you say, everything's there, all the steps, all the buffers. Um, there's only a coupling at one end. I only like having a coupling at, one end if I can because you know you're you only sort of it's a bit of an eyesore when it's running around now the reason I got this one is a little bit again I'm going to men mention Anthony Dodge quite a lot in the next few videos because I wanted to do the ESU review I've got a number of other stuff still to show you so I'm just trying to get through it because obviously the 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 army base sort of module took up most of the the time and you, you youtubers or you guys that do youtube you, you know how long it takes to you know to do a video and and stuff so i'm just trying to get through them basically i really i mesmerized with the the details on this really you know the door handles the railings 
And like I said, hence why I was umming and ahhing about that Voif Maxima, because it's got four pantographs. And because Anthony Dodge got his new, especially the one with the horses, he's got the four pantographs, you know, for basically the locos run into other parts of Europe, which is, you know, different. They need different pantographs to run on different systems. Hence why it's got the four pantographs. It's a really nice touch. So I, w I went for this one. There's a, a Brava one. Um, again, if you're from London, a Brava. <laughs> and, uh, I, but it only had basically the same as the Pico, just one pantograph sort of e either side. So I thought, you know what? Because <clears throat> I really liked the, 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 that horse's loco that Anthony Dodge got. I really did. It's uh, really nice. And hence why I went for this one. So, you know, it was a bit of an inspiration and hence why I was umming and ahhing about the Wolf Maxima, as I said. So let's get it on track. I've got the detail packs that's still in there. Like I, like I said on the box, it is as new condition and, you know, it's second hand and it was a bargain. And like I said, I've got a number of other items to show you over the next few weeks and I'm just just trying to get through through them all as I'm when I can I, I waiting for some smoke fluid for the ESU loco because you know I want to sort of do a proper review on it well I say proper review I'm not <laughs> I'm not a review type person but you know I'll do the best that I can as I always do let's get it on track let's have a look at it I'm a friggin' genius. <laughs> oh, all that messing about. You see the red lights on there? I've got to say, this is... I don't, I don't know what I did this time. Yeah, you can see the headlights, and then you can see them swap. I really, um... I've got to say... This is really up there with one of my top, top models. Just, the detail is just really fantastic. And I know, because I've already given it a little run, that it runs, like the gearing is absolutely, it's up there with the ESU. So we're just gonna give it a, a slow crawl to make sure it's all, but like I know because I've already just give it a quick test off camera. Don't like to embarrass myself on camera. But yeah, look at it. Beautifully quiet, beautifully detailed. And we're just gonna give it a little bit of speed. So yeah, there's a number of com companies that actually make this in different sort of levels of details. I do have my concerns because obviously my physical situation just, I was just literally so careful or being try, trying to be careful and so far so good that I haven't knocked anything off but it really is a nice touch with uh, the four pantographs on top I really like that really really nice but you know I like different stuff and you know When I was looking at the price of the rail top models, they they're not the most expensive on the market, but they they are quite pricey. That's for sure. But I've got a nice well, I've got a number of of these container wagons, which I think just suits just nicely. See that slowing down there. I'm just going to speed it up. I'm just going to show, show you when I when I change direction. I need to stop the loco and then change direction. But I, it's a good demonstration on on how it. So I'm just going to. So I've just changed direction. See how it's slowed down. And then, you know, it doesn't immediately go straight to speed, and it doesn't immediately stop. And I really like that. Um. ESU is great for doing that. You see how it's, I've 
So it's what, three seconds before it actually comes to a stop and then changes direction. One, two, three. Yeah. That's really, really nice. Really happy with this. And like I say, it was second hand, but I've got, I've, literally I've got, I've got no problems with second hand stuff at all. You know, and if it needs a little bit of cosmetic work, you know, it's missing a pantograph or a buffer or, you know, such like, I, I don't mind doing those kind of repairs as long as they're not sort of mechanical because I mean, most of you guys know I am a, I am a technical dummy and I've got no problems admitting that. You know, hence why I can't really do a proper review of what type of motor it is and and all the rest of it. I'm glad I've got the lights working now. There's a little bit miffed on why they wasn't working straight away. But I think maybe I didn't push the decoder in properly or something. So yeah, class 482. I said Pico do one. It's a rail top one. I'm... I think Roco do one as well, and I know Brava does one as as well. I must admit, I was looking at the pictures of the Brava one, and they want like 150 quid for it, and I'm just like, um, you know, I know Brava do, you know, quite quite good on their fine details. They are quite fragile, but this one is. It is really up, you know, looking at the, the pictures, it's just much, much, much more detailed. And they seem quite sturdy as well, the, the, the actual, you know, <laughs> I did laugh at Anthony, he said, you just have to look at the fine details on a Brava and they fall off, which is... <laughs> it's a good, you know, uh, analyze, analyzing of, of a Brava Loco. They, uh, you know, it's, it's all right having the fine details as long as they stay on the Loco. And it's not just that, you know, when, once you, once you lose them and, you know, try to get replacement parts is a bit of a nightmare. So I just wanted to do, yeah, 10, 12 minute review on this. And I'm, re I'm really, I'm over the moon with this. I really, I said it's definitely in, in my top five locos in my collection now. This, you know, if you come across one quite cheap, a rail top model, I would recommend you, you purchase it. Um, It was worth every penny. It was just short of a hundred quid, so um yeah. Um really yeah, ple pleased with it, really pleased. So <clears throat> what I'll do is I'm yeah, I definitely if one come up again, I I would certainly uh go for it. This is definitely sort of in my top five locos, definitely. Um, the blue class 66 ESU is probably the most favorite loco that I've got. But this is up there with, with it. It's definitely, you know, yeah, just brilliant, just, just fantastic. Um, you know, I know it doesn't have sound and, and everything else, but it's not always just about the sound or having smoke. You know, but we will get round to doing the other ESU review. Like I said, I've got a few other bits and pieces to review, uh, catch up a little bit on on stuff. So I hope you like it, and um, yeah, I hope you guys had a great New Year, and and you'll be seeing me throughout the year, I'm sure. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great time and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.